Welcome to this Academic Search Complete database tutorial. Academic Search Complete is one of our library's general databases. It covers many different subjects and allows you to search for articles on a variety of topics. Once you've accessed the Academic Search Complete database, you'll see this initial search screen. I can limit my results by specific criteria. I would like to retrieve articles that I can read online. To do that, I click on the box just below Full Text. I'm also able to limit my search to only those articles published in scholarly or peer-reviewed journals. You're now able to enter your search terms or keywords in the search boxes. Try and keep those search terms simple in the beginning. If I wanted to find articles about the relationship between vaccines and autism, my keywords would be vaccines and autism. Click the search button. If I need to limit by publication date, perhaps my professor said that I can only use articles published within the last five years, I can adjust the dates using this slider. My articles are sorted by relevance, not by publication date. I'm able to change that if I'd like to using this drop-down menu. The list of articles is in the center of the screen. You'll see the title and a summary of the article. Once you've found an article that interests you, click on the title. Along the left-hand side, you'll see your full text options. You may see the HTML full text, or you may see a PDF full text. The PDF full text is a scanned copy of the original article as it appeared in the journal. It will include photographs, charts, and page numbers. The HTML full text, on the other hand, may or may not include this information, but will include all of the text. Along the middle of the page, you'll see the author's name, the source information, which includes the journal title, the publication date, volume, issue number, as well as the page numbers. And along the right-hand side, under Tools, you'll see that you are able to print, email, or save the article. For every article you use in your paper, you will need to provide a citation. The database will help you with that citation. Under Tools, you will see the Cite button. If you click on the Cite button, a new screen will open and it will show you a variety of citation formats. Use the scroll bar to find the citation style that is required for your paper. Once you see that, you can copy and then paste that citation into your paper. You'll always want to double check the citation using the tools found on the library website. You can find these tools under the Help tab and in all the research guides. If you'd like to return to your list, click this button up here. If you still have questions on how to find articles in the database, please contact the reference librarian or stop in at the library in Martin Hall.